easiest thing he can do is just get someone to look at it. He's probably 50. got medical help on speed dial considering what he's been through. Yeah, we recently saw Gary Anderson, of course, pull out during a match on the Pro Tour. Aspinall doesn't look like he'd be pulled out of this match. He looks like he's very much about to win it. And that starts for Steve Beaton. Maybe these 16. as the Stockport Slinger returns for double 16. Just becoming a bit of a stress for the ass. No score. He's got time on his side. He could have been the first person through to round two. However, it's not going to be him. Stephen Burton has beaten Joe Collins 6 2 in the race to be the first person into the next round. I see he'd gone already. Game but here, match, Nathan, Aspinall. Nathan Aspinall gives Steve Beaton the elbow. A 6 1 success in the opening round. The ass. Fighting through the pain barrier. Go to order of merit, he is approaching the anniversary of losing quite a lot of ranking points. Jacques? Ooh, 60. he almost went Jacques Rouge there. I mean, with some of the darts he's thrown in this match, it could be forgiven for wondering whether or not he was actually aimed at tops. Double five. 15. Well, and he's left himself on another Game double shot. that is rouge. And he's not feeling red at the minute. He's feeling very, very happy. Order restored, but only. Almost wins it in style, of course, who the man who won the Lakeside World Championship last year. Beat Chris Lambman in that final. Game and he has beaten Jacques Lab here. He gets his first win over the Frenchman. And it is in PDC darts. Currently 4 1 up on Simon Whitlock. Looks a bit more like good style Clayton. Averaging 105 after five legs in that encounter. Been a few question marks about Johnny recently, but don't fear. I'm sure there's something just around the corner for the ferret. 137. Might just have a 1-2-1 one, one around the corner here for Chiz. And yet again, he doesn't take the out. And Tebow is there, lurking around the corner, saying, if you miss, I will Game hit. Shot. Probably good that I didn't. Double top for Dave. And now you can't afford to miss. But he does. Ready to pounce once again. Is he hitting what Dave is not? Not this time. They call him the French touch, but he didn't have the touch there. In fact, he's got the bite. He's biting his own hand. Oh, and it's double 12 for the second time in this match from Chisnell. He may be starting to think that this is beyond him today. Can he get past that? Can he get past both of them? Game shot. That's an incredible dart. You might think that's a guide, but for Tebow it isn't. His darts are flat, but he was able to throw that one since 2019 at the start of the season. The number one seed has won a players' championship only eight times out of 150 tournaments. The number two seed, which Dave is, has won a players' championship 16 times. I thought it would have been more than that. In fact, it's unseeded players that have won the most. 60. But then again, if you think about it, there are 96 unseeded players and only 32 seeds. 48. 
there is a risk here that Chisnell could be done 6-2 when Tebow's hit no maximums. 78. And this is still a big ask for Dave to stay in the match. He was going for the 260s for double seven. Oh, it was the right shot. But as we see it, Tebow doesn't hesitate. Game and he and makes round Tebow two. He makes this day today a miserable yeah, one. I miss you. Excellent at times yesterday. He is under threat 100. of losing his first round match here. Now Boland has a chance for 5-2. Double 12. Oh, Just not messing around. This is a good game from six darts from 2 or 7. He will fancy himself to get this done. 57. But it has to be said, the Trevor's visit there was not what he wanted. Eighty left, and Boland's got a huge ask to win this six-four. It's on. Double eighteen. One hundred and thirty-two. Almost brilliant from Boland. Saganski needs another twenty and tops to take us all the way. Game that shot. is brilliant. He has fought so valiantly in this match. Boland has had the lead since the off. But the luxurious position for the pole to not have to go 18s on 128. Willie's got every right to scratch his head because the end is nigh for his day. When he could have inflicted that on his opponent, and the last dart tells you everything you need to know. Sure. Ultimately, Saganski just to too good. And the way he I fought back valiantly. Winner of that one. 2-2 two -two between Burton and Killington. 180. And we continue to get maximums in this one. Raymond van Barneveld dipping his bread plenty of times. 96. Not necessarily noted for maximum prowess these days, but he's definitely found something in this match. 100. Could even say it's very similar to his favorite movie character. Every time he hits one, he says, like a glove. 96. Nathan Aspinall has beaten Andy Barton's, so the beast has let one slip. Game and shot. Raymond does not let that slip. This game is toing and froing the whole time. Leaves the emotion outside the cubicle. 98. It would take a very brave person to call this. They're level on points and legs at this point. 125. You might just shade it to Raymond because he's still got the darts. 134. But Yellow's first to the finish, albeit only just. It may even take something of this likelihood just to nick this game away and get the most vital of shots. 42. So what happened yesterday with Dovey and Dedeka? It took a 170 to separate them. Game shot. But it's Raymond who holds. He has two chances to get through to the board final. Between these two, they're very comfortable at this pace. They could go on like this, playing best of 31 easily. It's got to be 19s all the way. But because he's missed, he didn't have the luxury of the 25 at the end to leave the finish. However, he still gets there. 81. Willie Boland missed this on double 18 for his match in the previous game we saw with Saganski. 43. Klassen has missed it for the match. Now Raymond could twist the knife. Eighty-seven. 
Jan Jelle Klassen steal it in their first meeting in five years. Not at this turn, and Raymond's got a decision to make. The split. Back for the double that denied him. It denies him again. Five match darts at double 16 missed. And Klassen has a very doable out this time. And he does win their first meeting in five years. Raymond will be sick as a chip at that one. He left him... Oh, this is a bit of a struggle for Anderson. Yes, he is down to a finish here on the Kirk throw. But Kirk's been on something better. Quite a bit better, actually. Can he get past it? He hates it. It's got to be top left. Give it a great chance. 65. But Kirk now has another opportunity. It's only going to be one. And he went for the marker, didn't he? This game could be over. It literally could be over. It could be 6-2, Aiden Kirk. But this might be four all. And game Gary shot. Anderson is walking such a tightrope in this game. Aiden Kirk has let him off. That's a breaker throw. Anderson is favourite to win this match. It's quite aggressive. Does he switch now? No, he's not. Well, that is absolutely mad. Mad but brilliant. When you hit it, you look like a genius. When you miss, you look like a fool. Now, if he finds two treble 19s in double six, or 126 in three, he will be a genius. And he misses a big number. Very nearly taking out 306 in two visits to the board, almost leaving a bogey number. But this to take is the distance. Double 10. For five all. Oh 15. no, Aiden Kirk, it's the misses. Six of them have cost him monstrously. Game and Gary reach. mops Gary up. Anderson. He's going to know that he was in trouble in that game. Of that, there was no doubt. Their first meeting in six years. But Aiden Kirk should take an awful lot from standards because he has got. A phenomenal game in him. I remember when he made semi-final back in Niedenhausen a couple of years ago. We all thought at that point he was going to catch fire, but it, whenever it happens, or he has a deep run, it just seems like he doesn't back it up. I know that's a somewhat negative statement, but it's because we know the game is there. He's one of those players who you think could be a first-time winner on the tour at some point this year, as Littler wants another treble 20 and can't get it. 100. Takes a bite out of it, but Dutes to level the match to a piece. It'll be 16 for double. 52. He might pay for that. Littler has done the flatty on this before, and there it is. Game Genius. Shot. Well, when Daryl Gurney first started introduced there, as he seemed to re-grip the dart. When he played Nathan Rafferty earlier today, he didn't play particularly brilliantly at the start, but he did kick into gear eventually. We're getting to the stage now where Kevin is asking him questions, and he may have to find that extra gear sooner rather than later. No well, he's got a bonus chance of a 4-2 lead anyway. Is it the 18s? Is it the 20s? And there's that. He's changed the throw again. He is, he's flipping between different manners of throwing the dart, Luke Little. Sure. And I think he's searching for point advantage. 60. It's not great. They're all close. But he's on a one treble combo. Dutes has got to pick up a treble. He's one only one. got the one. There is nothing between them. Not even a quart of paint. Double 13. 93. Now, what can Dutes do in response to missing 
Oh, to look Littler missing a match dart. He's already taken a 1-4-2 check out. This is easier. It's just got easier. It's double 18. And Game Kevin Dukes beats Dutes. Luke Littler in the board final. The teenager had a match dart. He missed double 13. He'd been stranded. That over to the left-hand side, Chris Doby. 57 and ball. Humphreys does not get a dart for the leg. Doby is going to have to burn a dart, having dragged that last one into the five when he was looking at double top. Double 16 for 5 4. The world champ is only going to get one dart. 52. And he does not take his opportunity. It is unlikely he'll get any more. It's the worst leg of the match. We're into a seventh visit. Game shot. And it may prove to be the key moment in the back end of this one. Chris Doby, the world number 15. Andrew Gilding, the former UK Open champion, is in the last eight. Gilding plays Zaganski for a place in the semis. Okay, 33. Now for double 16. 58. He can afford to miss that one, but he won't be allowed to miss when he returns. 138. It's a lovely setup, but he's relying on the best player in the world missing. Game shot. He does not miss with his last dart, surely. Surely he cannot take out a 170 to win a game in the last leg decider for the second day running. 126. Two massive checkouts face these two. And it's too massive for Dobie. You could tell from his reaction that he was thinking about Mighty yesterday six. and his success against Mike Dedeka. Luke Humphreys is not going to get a match dart in this visit. He sets it up brilliantly. One match dart at double top. He's moving to the left. And he cannot get past the blocker dart. Chris Doby has missed his opportunity to win it. Luke Humphreys does not miss his chance. He survives a match dart. Here in Leicester this week, hasn't he? They really did emerge over the last couple of years. Won eight development tour titles. Has posted averages in the 100 and teens on several occasions. Well, yesterday, his first round game, he averaged 107 in destroying Hopai Puha. And even when he went out in the board final, round three to Ryan Searle, it was a 96 and a half average. This is, that's the sort of Van Veen that we expect. This is not, and yet it might be enough for a 3-1 lead against Stefan Belmont, who's taken out a whole list of big names so far today. 98. But not playing like this, he hasn't. Game shot. Always tempted to say that that kind of dart could be awkward and then remember that so often. And it will come down to the final three to see which one of them goes through to the final 42. four. Oh, it's back. Can Van Veen's back. All of a sudden, ton 40, ton 80 to start a leg with the darts. It's been a real battle. He is having to struggle his way through. But Van Veen, credit to him, because he's when things aren't going well, when you're not playing well, the frustration can get the better of you. How many times have you seen it where players have just started throwing their hands up and thinking, well, I can't. I can't find anything. He's digging in. He's producing a brilliant leg here. Yeah, full credit to him. It could be an 11 darter. 18 for double top. Double 10 for a 12 dart leg. And he sticks it right in. 
the bottom corner to move within one. The door is open. He has beaten three major champions 50. on the trot to get to this stage, Stefan Belmont and Michael Smith, Mensal, Sulevic and Rob Cross. He was 4-1 down in this game. 100. Van Veen still isn't down to a finish. Belmont needs to get the numbers right here. One treble and getting the maths right will get him to a finish. And he's got the treble. Not he yet. is going to get a look. Confirmation that Radek Zaganski is the third semi finalist. He's beaten Andrew Gilding 6 5. Can Stefan Belmont join him in the most sensational style? Another. Oh, it was close. It clattered off the barrel. He's even having to check whether it's in or not. It's not. He sets up perfectly, but Van Bain will get too much darts of his own. But can he take and just lay it on top of that? It has been a game of mistakes. It has been a struggle of a game. It has been a battle. And it is a battle that Jan Van Veen wins. Stefan Belmont, his run comes to an end in the quarterfinals. The first Swiss player ever to reach this stage of a PDC ranked event, but Jan Van Veen. But he's got his hands full at the moment with Van Veen, who's looking at the 11 segment, but has missed it. 81. And what world champions do is punish things like that. Humphreys came very close to doing so. It's top sent for GVV. Game shot. To double his lead. Van Veen looking to build on what's been a very encouraging day for him. 180. That 180 gets him down to a finish first as he tries to 41. put an end to this losing streak, having been on the wrong end of the last three legs and Luke Humphreys almost helping him there because he threw those darts with very 60. little care. He seems to think this leg is over. Now look at that. Nonchalant chuck from Humphreys allowing Van Veen to do whatever he likes with the 80 finish. What he liked was treble 16 for double 16. Condition in venues when they... 180. Empty, for example, like it would have today as the day's gone on. Jan Van Veen really has found something here. He's now averaging 102. And that could be rising. 105. Chance for him to back up that brilliant previous 11 dart leg with a Dozen data here to break Luke's throw. He's sped up. He, he's finding everything very, very easy at the moment. 96. But he could not strike the crucial dart. And Luke Humphreys can keep his nose in front by hitting double ten. Game shot. In fact, it's a two data by virtue of the 140. So the world champion, the world number one, Will step up needing 100 to reach his first floor final of 2024. 90. Van Veen will feel like he deserves this chance. Humphreys misses two match darts. Ah, but he couldn't take the chance. Wow. Too much darts becomes four match darts. And Van Veen, who's outperformed Luke Humphreys in this game, statistically, will get the chance once again to force a decider. Double two. 
game shot. Bound by the Dutchman. And we do go the distance once again. Humphreys for the third time today. Not much in it, but enough that Humphreys maintains the initiative. But now maybe he doesn't. 82. Good last start, but it's only to leave 144. Now, when he ended that streak of last leg decider losses to Brendan Dolan earlier, he took out 167. 43. That's exactly what Van Veen has left to try and break him. That would be 100. the ultimate irony. But he's not going to do it. So Humphreys will come back. The two more match starts. He's squandered four already. It's double 16. It becomes double eight. Van Veen thinks Game it's shot. over, and it is. And the the darts are on the table. And despite a very, very strong performance from the young Dutchman, it is the world number one who progresses through to today's final. He's really had to work for it today. It's been an amazing year. Well, you made a great point off the air. We were talking about the pressure that surrounds a new world champion. Michael Smith didn't have a massively brilliant 2023. Did win in Munich, which is something that Luke has done as well. And Michael Smith did win a players championship in 2023. Luke is searching for his first in this 85. match. But what happened in the second half of the year didn't really give Michael Smith the kind of year that he wanted. However, you just get the feeling that Humphreys is not under the same sort of pressure because the attention that has been garnered by Littler has taken pressure off him as world champion. 140. Well, Danny Noppert trying to put pressure on him here by taking out one, two, six. Only one treble needed to get a go at a double. He gets two for double six and Game that's a fantastic shot. finish from Danny Nopper to announce himself in this final needed a confidence boost that will do it but we may be finding the part of the final here where they both go a little bit bananas yeah, I think he might have poked the bear with that finish Humphreys responding with a maximum 140 a few seasons ago Humphreys started to make finals but lost his first three. He's not missed those three. If he hits the next three, it's going to be another nine daughter for the world number one. 58. This time last year, he'd never hit a nine dart finish. He's since hit three. But he won't be making it four, 89. not in this leg. It's amazing, isn't it? considering his talent and how long he'd been around as a development to a player as well. 57. When the first one came, it was followed by others. Hold your horses a bit. He thought he'd won the leg, and he has Game now. Shot. In his own mind, he's won that leg twice. As long as he equalizes. The moment somebody gets a two-leg cushion, they will fancy that it's going to be their day. But maybe somebody 60. isn't going to get a two-leg cushion at any time from this point. It might be tit for tat. Yeah, Humphreys led 2-0 and 3-1, but then Noppert got that break back. Humphreys missed the chance to restore that advantage. 90. Maybe Nopper himself will get it. 94. Because he's been living on the edge a lot today. Do you think Humphreys at this stage is thinking it's going to happen again? He's been living on the edge, but he's been improving his performance as games have gone on. 60 left. 60 left, yeah. He's only got one day off tomorrow before he 95. plays in Birmingham in the Premier League to try and get himself out of second spot. Double 10. That Game is brilliant. Shot. He just needed a little burst of something, and that might just be it. Well, again, he's not the type of player. Only a matter of 14 behind the record for a daily campaign. Just doing something at the back table there. I think it's 
bit of grip he's applying, Seriously. some sort of powder or lotion. You've got to be really smart. If something isn't right, if you've got something that can help you... 92. If your hands are feeling a little bit smooth... Ah, I know that stuff. So that's, a, that's a particular brand of hand cream where it just gives you a little bit of a tacky 97. nature on your fingertips. I thought he was about to touch up his hair for a moment. At least he's got that luxury, I guess. 44. Well, wins today for Humphreys against Paul Croner, Jeffrey Desvan, Brendan Dole and Chris Doby, who won yesterday's 96. title. Gary Anderson and Kian Van Veen. Can he nick it off Noppet? That was almost a something special. Now, what does Danny do on 108? Yeah, I've seen him go 18s before. Double. Oh, boy, that's close to 6-4. But the interesting thing is he's such a tops merchant. Having hit the treble, Game he could shot. have chosen to leave tops. He decided against it. Well, you mentioned the word recovery to describe Luke Humphrey's last leg. That second visit is exactly 58. that for Danny Nopper, having posted a treble visit with his first in this leg. I'm not sure I like that switch on dart three. I think if he's going to be treble I'd rather be on three or four. Yeah, it's made it a little bit more difficult here. We'll start on the 19s. It does need a second treble. 99. But doesn't get it. So Noppet has the luxury of not having to go for the ball if he finds two treble 20s. Great second dart. 98. Third one, not thrown brilliantly. So the leg is Nova yet. However, 57. when you look at the situation, if Noppet hits this, it's going to have to be two straight legs for Humphreys if he wants his first PC win of the Game season, shot. which Danny is within one leg of to keep that finals record perfect at five from five. Sometimes getting a lot of maxes still doesn't give you success. 97. It's the maximums and the big scores he hits from here 44. that count. It's only a half dart lead after nine darts for Humphreys. And not but is staring down a finish that will give him the title. 100. First to a finish. He's going to get an opportunity to win it when he returns to the hockey. 95. He wanted more than that, especially after the first dart the chance is gone for now but how low can he go that's 100. not bad at all treble 18 and still can't get it so a real 54. chance now not but should get at least one match dart he gets two at his favorite double that becomes one at double ten. Game shot. And Danny and Noppet nails Danny it. Noppet. A five-star performance for a fifth Players' Championship title and another final victory for Danny Noppet, who defeats <sighs> the world number one and world champion and maintains that incredible record of never being beaten in a Pro Tour final. Incredible it is.